Hey guys, so probably the saddest part about MetaZoo is just how Alpha Investment has already moved on. He's promoting this new card game called Mist Veil. I've never heard of it. I'm never going to buy it. I it's going to stick to uh, Pokemon and Magic. And the crazy thing about MetaZoo, right? Now the videos have been deleted. No one remembers that he was promoting MetaZoo Meta outside his numerous promo cards. He's gotten a lot smarter as he's moved on to Sorcery. He's not having his own face on the card in case the Sorcery fails. At, then, at the very least, it would just be another Rudy promo, but it wouldn't be his face or likeness. So... He's made videos about the greatest Pokemon bull market in history. So if you're a MetaZoo watcher and you've been told from the very get-go, this is the next Pokemon, this is the next Pokemon, buy Alpha Investments multiple times, right? As, I mean, he was selling these things for $820 a booster box when he was getting them for $50 or less. And you're looking at all these videos of his, and all his videos are, oh my gosh, look at the next Pokemon bull market. And Pokemon's doing really well. Magic is doing really well. Lokana is crushing, as is One Piece. I don't really know too much about Flesh and Blood, but from what I can tell, they're doing well too. The only card game that has gone to zero is MetaZoo. Like, you could have literally put money into, like, almost any other TCG... And unironically, most of his subscribers are probably Magic players. They throw money into dual lands. They Gucci, man. They are just Gucci. Um, and this is the saddest part about this. All the MetaZoo positive videos about MetaZoo have been deleted. All association has been scrubbed, minus his own promo cards. But in the future, he will learn that he really doesn't want to be associated with said promo cards, right? Because, again, uh, such association could be viewed very negatively. And there's kind of no way to get out of it, right? Like, if you could make the excuse that, oh, you know, hey, um, that wasn't me. That, that's some other dude. <laughs> no, 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 it, it wasn't. But if it was, like, a promo card and he was an indie promo card, I would suggest that that would probably be even better for him. Because then he could say, oh, well, that's not me. There's a random promo card of some random dude. So, it's kind of funny right now, like, think about where MetaZoo is right now and the fact that he won't talk about it. Yet, yeah, he's made multiple videos about Pokemon. This is the greatest Pokemon bull market. You know who is not participating or could has invested most of their money not in Pokemon? It's the MetaZoo people, and they're still opening MetaZoo packs to 100, I don't know how many fans are left, hundreds, maybe a thousand fans in total. But Pokemon is hot as anything. The booster packs are going to the moon. Um, things are going really, really, really high. And to be quite honest with you, it's kind of amazing. It's really uh, amazing, in my personal opinion, to see how much uh, MetaZoo people have lost when you're looking at eBay auctions. Remember, somebody bought these things for ten thousands of dollars each of these are a loss of nine thousand five hundred dollars essentially after fees so when you talk about uh that amount of loss that is a crippling crippling amount of loss right um in my personal opinion it's it's a lot um it is a whole shit ton because you could have put that in you could put that in magic you could have put that in Lord of the Rings, you could have used that money at the time to ride this Pokemon hype. Moonbrion was 400 or less. You know, that people don't talk about that. Moonbrion was 400 and less. You could have rode that Moonbrion to the moon, right? I mean, Moon was actually in the name, nickname, Moonbrion. And uh, instead, you know, what, what do you do, right? Um, you just kind of sat back and just, you know, didn't do anything. Like, it's sad, but also a little bit like, I don't want to say like it's super sad because people kind of, I mean, if if you're being sold, hey, this is the next, um, this is the next uh, Pokemon. Why don't you actually just buy the Pokemon? I never understood that. Like outside of greed and wanting to 20x or investment, 
why don't you just buy the Pokemon cards? Like Alpha Investment, like was so, I mean, I don't get it. I never understood MetaZoo. If it was going to be the next Pokemon and the prices were reflecting, wouldn't you just buy Pokemon instead because it has a track record? Anyway, people put a shit ton of money in MetaZoo. And by putting money in MetaZoo, if, if you remove MetaZoo from the picture, right? Meta, let's say MetaZoo was never promoted, never hyped. I think its first, first Kickstarter was an absolute fail. No one knew what it was until Alpha Investment... Um, told you what it was and then everyone bought into it but outside of let's say you don't have money to put you cannot put money I, I prevent you from putting money into meta zoo well i mean my question to you would be really obvious right it would be what would else would you put money into what would those people put money into if they were uh, not allowed to put money into meta zoo and the answer should be pretty obvious like it, you know it's pretty obvious answer in my personal opinion they of course would put money into pokemon right because they kept saying how all oh, pokemon 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 so now these people put money into pokemon what are they putting money behind evolving skies moonbrions right so instead of buying mothmans these dudes be buying moonbrions well moonbrion has doubled and tripled doubled in price since that time since everyone was buying metazoo from alpha investment and Evolving Skies has gone through the roof, quadrupled in price for the ETBs, right? From distributor price, the PAX Lost Origin, everything. The uh, Magic the Gathering cards are through the moon. There's not like anything that has not gone up. And that's the sad, sad reality of MetaZoo. Is that le legitimately, you could have bought anything. Stocks, S&P 500... Um, you legitimately could have bought anything and it would have done better than the zoo, right? And the, I mean, in terms of like where MetaZoo went, it, it was the absolute, it went to the dumpster, okay? It went to the dumpster. People lost a lot of money, uh, real money, cash money homies, right? And it went to the dumpster. Like MetaZoo literally went to the top of what do you want me to say? And um, the guy selling it to you now is promoting this new card game, Miss Vale. He's promoting sorcery. He's, I mean, and he is never going to talk about MetaZoo again. No matter how much interesting news comes out about it. Um, he's abandoned it because it makes him look bad. And he would rather promote a new game like Miss Vale than uh, continue to even recognize that MetaZoo was something that he had once said. Because everything in cards has gone up. Minus MetaZoo. Like, I'm not joking, you guys. One Piece, Lakana, every other card game I would have any interest in even looking into. Especially if you call it, quote, an investment. What's that? Uh, Disney Lakana. I just got the uh, Elsa for uh, PSA 9 for $800. I think that's a $1,000 card. Pretty crazy. Minus MetaZoo. And I think that's the saddest part. Is like, they honestly would have just invested... In Pokemon instead, and then they would have joined a great market. 